for tonight. John, um, era funding. Are we going to get the extension? And where are we at in regards to we're closing in on that deadline? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm working actually very closely mm -hmm. with uh, our legislature and our governor mm -hmm. to really keep them apprised of where we are mm -hmm. with the ARA funding. Yeah. And uh, we've got about half of it pushed almost to the end, and we've got another half that we've got to get through the procurement process. Um, I've, I've said before, a deadline is very helpful to help us maintain the sense of urgency. But at some point, there'll be a couple, and I think we're, because we're sharing information, I think we're all aware that there may be a few contracts that could use the extension, and I think uh, we'll get the extension if we request it. The second but, extension. Yeah, the second extension. But I think there's a willingness now that we're sharing more information, mm -hmm. keeping more of a track, that we're working together to make sure that the students don't lose this mm -hmm. funding. Yeah, now, let, me, let me ask you, in regards to programs, are, have, have there been any programs in place uh, um, in the Department of Education that were ERA funded? That were ERA funded? Uh, yeah. The ERA funded I'm aware of is mm -hmm. mostly towards capital. Okay, so. okay. Yeah, because I, you know, right, the I mean, I, I know the, the um, administrators uh, across the, the nation have been, have, have been uh, uh, asked the question, and, and one of their, their main uh, stickler is program implementation and the air funding to have two years for then, then that particular district to, to carry on that program that was put in place by the air funding. Right, and, sure, if they, sure. and if they don't, if they don't do that, the school district will have to return that money. Well, some of that money, if it gets put into operations, mm -hmm. or with, we have to maintain that. Sure, uh, sure, That's sure. not to, supposed sure. to be able to mm -hmm. help us get through that period yeah. of time. Now, now again, in in the fixing of the schools. Uh, we talked about Southern High, um, also Ocean View. Uh, are, are we going to be able to maintain our schools? I mean, what, what do we have in place to, to make sure that, okay, when we do the ribbon cutting, once we cut the ribbon, we got that uh, fine arts theater, that pool, that gym fix, everything like that, and we were all ha happy and, and celebrant uh, about this, but then um, two, three months later, we saw ah, crack walls, you know, and, and mold. Are we going to have maintenance contracts for this? Are, are we? What are we going to do? Well, what I love about this job is uh, I think I'm in my second uh, second week. It's at my into my third week, and I have this conversation with my wife, and I, and I have the same large questions ahead of me. I say, No, we have, we've got to figure it out. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, mm -hmm. I haven't figured it out yet, but mm -hmm. it's definitely a priority. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that I've I've you know, entered into is a is a situation where there are investments that have been mm -hmm. made and things that are being committed. Mm -hmm. um, but I need to get a, my, my arms around the entire state mm -hmm. of our facilities mm -hmm. so that when we make investments, whether they be in the operations and maintenance or investments in mm -hmm. renovation or rebuilding, that we have a set of priorities that are really tied into the condition of our schools and the needs of our educational mm -hmm. system. We don't have that. But yeah. hopefully we need a, <laughs> I'd like to get a master plan together mm -hmm. to really figure out um, how we ought to invest our resources and get the best bang uh, for our buck. Our buck absolutely. GW High School, are they going to go into double session? What, what is the likelihood of that? You know, we're pushing. And mm -hmm. so we had a meeting today. I sat down with uh, Director Joanne Brown, uh, Vincent mm -hmm. Yonguro from the Governor's mm -hmm. Office, and our, our team from GW. Mm -hmm. And we just said, look, let's get on the same page. How many days? What, what, how much overtime? What would it take to get the buses? Mm -hmm. Let's get on the same page so we can identify the cost. And mm -hmm. once we get that, Let's go find those resources, and number two, let's figure out how to actually procure the buses uh, that we might need, and uh, hopefully we'll get the answer soon that, that it's a go. But the work's about to start, so we're, we're pushing to so get a solution. They say, what is it? Get it done. <laughs> You're yeah, calling out the community to, to help the schools? Uh, absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. very excited about mm -hmm. this school mm -hmm. year, and I'm, I'm actually excited to, to be here to mm -hmm. prepare the schools for opening. Um, our big day is going to be August 18th. Okay. August 20th is day one. August okay. 18th is the Saturday before it. Okay. We're calling it Team Up to Clean Up. And okay. in conjunction with all the government agencies mm -hmm. that are adopting our schools, uh, we'd like to get our community partners, our parents, our teachers, our staff, uh, private businesses to, uh, to uh, also adopt a school and help us with the basic uh, painting, cleanup, and just, just improving the facility so that when our students come on August 20th, they know that we've put some effort into it. They mm -hmm. feel welcome. They feel safe. They're getting. They get excited to start the school year as well. So, do they just call their favorite school and say, "Hey, we want to be involved in this"? Or well, we're, we're going to ask them to call okay. uh, our central number, okay. which is 300 1631 okay. So, 300-1631. Okay. Uh, and we'll be able to make sure that they've got the school listed yeah. out okay. and we know that they know where they're going. So, okay. great, fantastic, uh, Ms. Nurse. Thank you very much again. Thank you. And, uh, Please uh, congratulate your, your team members and, of course, the students for the wonderful work that they have done over the years and you continue to do. Thank you. Welcome aboard. Thank you. I think, right? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hey, join me tomorrow morning at The Buzz. It's the 63, your tomorrow radio station for more Buzz Talk. Hey, we'll talk more about our conversation tonight and whatever else you have in mind. This